good evening. Repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Are you saved? If God cut crack the sky tonight, would you spend eternity with him? Or would your soul be condemned? Are you living a life that you wouldn't be ashamed of in front of him? When you stand in judgment and have to give an account for every deed done in your body and every word spoken out of your mouth, will your name be written in the book of life? Will he say to you, well done, good and faithful servant? Enter into my rest. Or will he say, depart from me. I never knew you. Well, I'm here to tell you tonight. If you want to be saved, God wants to save you. Yeshua already paid the price. Salvation is free. It won't cost you a thing to be saved. But it'll cost you everything not to be Because the wages of sin is death. And the gift of salvation is eternal life. Choose this day whom you will serve. Because no man can serve God and mammon. No man can serve two gods. You got to choose. Are you going to be of the world or out of it? Are you going to be God's child or not? Are you going to submit and say, not my will, but your will be done, Father? Repent for the kingdom of God. Of God is at hand. It's not hard to be saved. It's hard not to. When you're not walking with God, think about how hard it is, how hard life seems, how 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 hard it's It seems when you're trying to do things in your own strength and walk life in your own power. It's hard not to be. That's why you see people committing suicide and and people depressed and, and turn into all kind of addictions to cope. Look, break, having mental health problems. Confused, morally and, and, and physically confused. Because without God, there is no peace. So, I'm here to tell you that God loves you. And there is no sin, there is no sin that will have you too far away from him.
do yourself do yourself a favor in your soul and repent and be saved for the kingdom of God is at hand now I'm going to lead you in a short prayer because that's all you have to do is talk to him just how I'm talking to you right now Because he's everywhere and he hears everything. Just like he sees everything. He's omnipotent and omnipresent. Thank you, Father. Heavenly Father. We come to you with bowed heads and humbled hearts. For you said wherever two or three are gathered together in your midst. Or gathered together in your name, I'm sorry, that you will be God in the midst. You will be there with us. So in the spirit, I am connecting with whoever is listening to this prayer. Confident and assured that you hear and are listening to their heart and mind. Father, we submit to your will. We want to be saved. And we believe that your son came and died for our sins and that he rose again and lives forevermore, conquering death in the grave. Thank you for sacrificing your only begotten son for us so that we too could be joined back to you. And be with you forever in eternity. Thank you for giving us a chance. We ask that you come into our hearts and cleanse us and renew our minds. Save us. We welcome you. And by faith, we receive it and we believe it. Thank you for saving us. Thank you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Whom we call Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer, you are born again. Welcome to the kingdom of God. God loves you, and so do I. Hallelujah. The angels in heaven are rejoicing right now. And my heart is so glad. Okay. Be blessed. Till next time.